All right, today I'm finally going to heat treat my receiver. I'm using a small heat treat oven here at work. You might be able to hear some machines running in the background. I apologize for all the noise. But we're going to heat this thing up to about 1500 degrees. You see, it's our receiver. There's no rails welded in. I'd spot weld them in afterwards because this thing has a tendency to pucker because when you spot weld your rails in there, you see how thin the sheet metal is. Put the rails in there, it becomes a lot thicker in that part and it will warp, have a tendency to pucker in. Well, we'll slide that in there and when we're done heat treating it, we'll get about 1500 degrees. It'll be all glowing nice and orange in there when we're done. We're going to dunk it or quench it in this five gallon bucket. It's got three pounds of salt and some dish soap. You also notice that little black cord sticking out of there. Well, there's a power filter in a typical aquarium power head. Just churning up the water, keeping it mixed up. Well, let's get this thing heated up. Hopefully it comes out the right hardness. It's going to be extremely hard when we first do it because we're going to have to draw it back take the brittleness out of it but we'll test it on the Rockwell hardness tester and make hopefully it'll be correct all right the receivers done let's take this bad boy out of the oven All right, let's check the hardness on our uh, receiver here. You see it's all black, all the carbon buildup in it. Let's see how hard this bad boy is. Now you've got to scrub the scale off. The scale will give you a false reading. This is a Rockwell hardness tester. This little pin in here has got a diamond tip in it and it will tell us how much pressure it takes to actually put a little dimple in this. I mean, it'll be very minute, but we'll, it'll tell us how hard this thing is. Alrighty, look, you get the camera where we can see here, we're at 58 Rockwell. That's pretty freaking hard. <laughs> now we're going to have to draw it back to take the brittleness out of it. And that'll be done here in just a little bit. i got to let the oven cool down. I may have to wait another day. But uh, we're there. Like I said, I, I can't check, but a few places because I can't get this on the sides or anything you know I can only do it in the front and the back but it's it's super hard all right let's go ahead and heat treat these rails 